Omaha Academy, Happy New Year. I'm Sharon Mott. And I'm Amanda Benzies. Welcome to the first new show of this new year and new decade, 2020. We hope all of you had a relaxing holiday break and a safe new year. We're looking forward to what this new year brings. I hope it brings us happiness and good grades. Speaking of grades, if they need improvement, tutoring is held every Tuesday and Thursday after school in the library. With finals week being next week, now is the time to get on top of your grades. That's my New Year's resolution for next semester, to improve my grades. What are your New Year's resolutions, Sharon? Well, Amanda, I plan on stop putting ranch on my pineapples. Well, some of us have more improvements to make than others. We went around the academy to find out what some of our students plan to improve upon in the start of this new year. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Sierra. Hi, Sierra. So, what's your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to be more social this year. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. So, what's your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution is to get a job. To get a job. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Taylor. Alright, so Taylor, what's your New Year's resolution? Uh, my New Year's resolution is to sweat less. To <laughs> sweat less? Yeah. Alright, fantastic. Thank you. Hi, I'm Shane Reed. Alright, Shane, so what's your New Year's resolution? I just want to try to smile more. Smile more? Wow, those were some good ideas. I might need to change mine. No, I think yours is okay, Sharon. Anyways, if you feel bummed out about returning back to school, rest easy knowing that on Monday, January 20th, Horry County Schools will be closed for students in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Also, Tuesday, January 21st marks the start of the second semester, and on Wednesday, January 2nd, there will be a mandatory meeting for seniors and parents to discuss the senior trip to Disney World. The meeting will start at 5.30 and will be held in the theater. You don't want to miss it. Hey Sharon, I wonder what some of our fellow majors have been working on the past few weeks. Sounds like it's time for our final episode of STEM Venters. Let's roll it! Hello, my name is Robert Hudson, and I'm a STEM mentor because I use science, engineering, technology, and mathematics every day to help me create various things in the engineering major. I use science to research various principles of flight and like how planes work to make a plane. I use mathematics to calculate the size, shape, and like how to like make the various parts I'll need for my plane. I use technology to help me create them. I use SOLIDWORKS, which is a 3D modeling software to design it all. And engineering is the sum of all of these practices together. Hi, my name is Peyton and I'm a STEM venture. I use STEM in pre-med because we use science to learn about anatomy and physiology and learn about your body parts. And we use technology when we present and learn about the nervous system. And we use math when we're converting 
your pounds and weight and we also use it to use our medicine and learn the correct amount of dosages. I joined the pre-med major because I really enjoyed learning about how to help people and save their lives. Hello, my name is Tenley Reynolds and I'm a STEM inventor because I use science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in the nature of science and technology. We use science to find out what ways we can use certain materials that you wouldn't expect to be put together. A lot of times we put popsicle sticks along with styrofoam to build a bridge. We are currently building a game called Mousetrap. We used our engineering process to look through the instructions and see what order we needed to put things in. And with mathematics, we always calculate the amount of work we're doing, the scientific definition of work. And with also, we calculate the angles that something can be fired. This class allows me to have that sense of being able to freely roam and experiment with anything that comes to mind. Wow, it's so cool to see what we can do when we put our minds together, isn't it? Without a doubt, Sharon. Also, don't forget that those who need it, attendance makeup is held every Wednesday after school. Sharon, can you believe that it is a new decade? Time to party like it's the Roaring Twenties. Well, maybe you're right, but I wonder what it was like at a Jay Gatsby party from the Roaring Twenties. Well, let's find out. Tonight is the party in which Gatsby has invited me to. You see, I got this invitation, yet everyone from AST came without invitation. No, it doesn't... Excuse me. Have any of you guys seen Jay Gatsby? No. No. Thank you, guys. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Yes. Have you seen Jay Gatsby? World sport. You're looking at him. Oh, well, well, I'd like to thank you for my invite. Well, old sport, let me show you around the place. Well, old sport, uh, this is my library. Um, who's that guy? Oh, him? Oh, that's Mr. Owlwise. I came around for company. <laughs> Nicholas. I'd like to introduce you to my old friend, Daisy. Hello. It's nice to meet you. So, how long have you known Gatsby? Many, many years. Well, old sport, I think it's time for you to ski daddle. I'll see you soon. In the end, Daisy left that Tom fellow for Gatsby. Gatsby didn't go to his pool that night, so he continued to live a great life. And me, I have a lifelong friend of Gatsby. See, this is the year 2020. This is the year for rewriting stories. Wow, what an interesting story. I've never heard that version before. Have you? If so, it's been a long time. Speaking of time, that's all the time we have today, Academy. We hope you have an outstanding year, students. Also, for those of you football fans, don't forget to check out the Clemson Tigers on Monday night's championship game against LSU. Go Tigers! Bye, Bye Academy! Wait. <laughs> Well, oh, since freshman. Oh, really? We're looking forward to what brings. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs>